What is up, and I am Randy, and welcome back to another deck profile. And this last past weekend at Locals, I decided, you know, new ban list, new format going to effect. Why not test out auto ice and see how they do? Going 5-1 and one really did really well, actually, expedin. Say, I say the only matchup I really lost was against a Guru Control, which was really tough grindy game, which, say, Guru definitely has the edge. But besides that, the OTK potential caught a lot of people off guard, especially going to a new format, definitely took the opportunity to come out with a couple surprises with odd eyes but let's just get right into it of course with odd eyes you're rocking of course the, th the three odd eyes pendulum dragon of course it's an odd eyes deck why not uh three three of them and then of course the three arc pendulum now these three uh these six definitely get your combo started um say otk potential as well uh searching power because because one of your odd eyes gets popped you can search it with arc it's insane combos uh, more uh, on ice one synchron for the synchro ability of the deck and then one dissolver for the fusion aspect just to go into if it does come up um of course the other two on eyes well level sevens is two phantom phantoms is really really good as well does burn damage well which is really good in time another say level seven just a good beat and stick and then the one Persona, I cut down to one just to make room for a little more Spice Engine in the stack. Because I wanted to keep the stack small and consistent to its strategy. But it's easily searchable. And it's just another negate. Because you can negate one of your, uh, say, opponent's face-up. I say extra deck monsters. So it's just insane. Then, uh, more standard uh, Pendulum stuff. Three, Supreme King, Dark Worm, Instant Special Summon. If you can dump it off to the gra grave or discard it with something. Just instant on the one supreme gate as well to round off the search because okay because you can search it right from the deck once supreme dark word comes out uh three chronograph because chronograph is just an amazing card to have starting because if you can pop one of your odd eyes arc you can not only trigger off your odd eyes arc you can trigger it off chronograph and just go off from there and get insane then of course the one time gazer kind of your standard pendulum stuff nothing too crazy i'll just move these off to the side now uh the engine I decided to test out in this deck, which was really well, was the I say Symphonic Pendulum engine. This engine was insane. I loved it so much. So, Symphonic War a Warrior Guitar is really insane. Uh, first, as monster effects is, it's when it's normal or special. Well, when it's normal summon, you can target one Symphonic Warrior monster in your graveyard, special summon it. Okay, pretty cool. Then it's Pendulum Effect is you can discard one card, special summon one Symphonic Warrior Monster from your deck except for itself. And you can only do it one, once per turn. And the Warrior Monster you'll be sending, well, special summon is Warrior Mikes. Now he's cool because one, you can get an additional normal summon. He's a free special summon. It's just insane because oh, not only you get a free special summon, you can get an additional normal summon that turn as well. So definitely good to get the advantage on board. Then to run out your monsters, a one Zangshi for your Rebellion uh, Raging combo as well. So definitely always good to have him for your OTKs, your big OTKs. Now for your spells, nothing crazy here. Three Duelist Alliance, love this card still. Searches your Odd Eyes monsters, you do not open with them. So it definitely increases your chances. Uh, more searching as well for your Odd Eyes cards. There's three Spiral Flame Vort uh, Strike. Great card, very versatile because you can not only search with it, you can also pop something on the field, which is insane. Then, of course, you have your Sky Irises, which is amazing to combo off with your Arc Pendulum as well, just to get your combos going, just to get tons of bodies on board. The one Terraforming to search it out. Um, and then for draw power, one Pot of Desires, two... I don't, I don't like drawing into Desire, so I wanted to cut that out. But it's really good to see a thins out the deck. Um, then two Allure of Darkness as well, because almost everything in the deck is dark besides the Symphonic Engine, I believe. So definitely really good for that. Then, of course, to limit the thing, uh, say a 49-card deck. Um, Upstart Goblin, one Dragon Shrine as well. Um, Oh, two Dragon Shrine, actually. I say my other Dragon Shrine is currently, say, in another deck right now. But definitely two Dragon Shrine. I mean, it su sucks when the once return, but it's definitely good. And then, of course, the one Foolish Burial to round off the spells. To just to dump Dark Worm and get your combos going. So you can get, say, say Electromite out before you start Pendulating something. Then, going to the extra deck now, we'll start with uh, the Synchros first. Of course, one Supreme King Dragon Clear Wing. This card was a game winner sometimes. It's insane, because as soon as it comes out, all your opponent's face-up monsters are destroyed. It's insane. 
So definitely good. Then if it battles a mo opponent's monster, you can destroy that monster. And if you do, then you can inflict damage to your opponent's equal to destroy monster attack, which won me a game in time, which is crazy insane. It's a bad way to win, but it was really comes in. Uh, Stardust, because budget player, if you want, throw a Boar Lord, Savage Dragon. I always recommend that. Um, but because budget, I'm not going to drop for a Boar Lord, Savage. If I, if I come across one, I'll definitely throw it in. But Stardust for me. Uh, then for your six, uh, one Dorito, amazing card, uh, one absolute to go into your Vortex plays. Uh, one Harmonizing Gridel, really, really cool card because it allows you to put your opponent pressure on board so they cannot be destroyed by battles, so you can change its attribute constantly. So it definitely makes uh, your opponent go. And then quick effect, can target one monster in your opponent's graveyard, attach one material from this card, then you can attach the card from the material from the graveyard. So... If they have something in the graveyard that they need for a follow-up play or something, you can just take it away, especially since it's a quick effect. So, especially going against Orcus, you can just take away that key combo piece they have in their graveyard. Insane came in really good. Um, big Eye, because taking people's stuff is always fun. Uh, then, of course, the Raging. And then, of course, the two Rebellion. A Rebellion is just another Pendulum Summon option you can go into, and also just to go into Raging as well, because Raging is your big one, and you just want to go in and blow up all your opponent's cards and then swing for game. It's insane. Then for the Fusions, uh, one Vortex, well, actually two Vortex Dragons, uh, just a standard really good to go off in Absolute. Then also you have uh, the, say, Dissolver to go into as well. So definitely having Vortex out is just an amazing card like always. Now to Lynx, Underclock Taker to push for more OTK. Zephyr Metaltron, I mean, it's a Pendulum deck. You have to have a Zephyr. Then, of course, one Decode, and then to round out the Lynx, we have one Heavy Metal Foes Electromite. It might come back. I hope it comes back. Maybe it's maybe two, maybe three, because Pendulum are kind of getting kind of roguish right now. I mean, they're not the best deck by far, so giving them more Electromites might help them come up a little bit, maybe. But that is about it for the extra deck. But that has been it for the updated Odd Eyes deck profile. Only thing really different is the Symphonic Engine, which I really wanted to test out because I like the additional normal summon that it can kind of give. So it definitely comes in handy, especially if you want to get uh, your your, I say, Electromite on board before you Pendulum Summon out, so definitely helps in that combo as well, but this has been it, so let me know down in the comments below what you think of this deck, and what can I improve on it, and see, uh, see let me hear what your strategies for Odd Eyes or any other Pendulum decks can be, but as always, see, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and until my next video, bye-bye.